Okay, guys, hang on. Let me go grab my other phone now so I can go live on YouTube, too. They don't have all this fancy stuff on there, though. Anyway, like you said, let's tell you about the Christmas. Don't! They don't know Christmas. Yet. They're going to school. They're going to school. I'm coming, sorry. Oh, hi, Alan. I was trying to figure out how we knew each other. I said, is that Alice's trainer? And I said, no, I don't think it's him. I think it's him. Alright, hang on. Let me get him in here. I'm getting in my lighting. I'm gonna start here in a second. Let me actually go get the extra things. Okay, so I'm on YouTube too. If you want to watch me live on both windows, if you're one of these popcorn brain people that go in, I can't just watch one thing. I'm, I'm watching YouTube, I'm watching Amazon Prime. 
He said, what, oh, nine other things, F videos on Facebook. It's, it's disturbing. Very, very disturbing. All right, hang on. Oh, hi, Laura. All right, so I've got to get them in, but you know, I'm not wasting any opportunities. I'm not making it about me and how I love puppies. And I love to hug puppies. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, people that have a baby understand. Oh, I love babies. Their response then is, who cares? Get away from my baby. <laughs> it's true. All right, hang on. I'm going to have to use this thing for a second. certain direction. You're shifting it. You're shifting the behavior. So you're not shaping it. You're not waiting. Ah! Um, you're not waiting for it to occur naturally. You're, you're shifting it just like water. You're saying, okay, this thing's momentum and it's moving around. Do 
Now you're making the, the part where they're not doing it so much longer. So now I'm just going to keep rewarding not doing it. You know, this isn't some weird bullshit. Telling to touch. If you say, what do you want? What should you do? If you don't want to see this stupid telling to touch, don't ever watch one video on YouTube. Because apparently there's millions of them. Every time I go on YouTube now, it's telling me to watch the telling to touch. If you got, one of them, they had the dog all wrapped up in a nice bandage. Yeah. It was the telling to... I don't even know what they were calling it. It had on a harness, two leashes, and then an ace bandage wrapped all around its body. No, I, I didn't know what happened. I, you know, the first video, it was just there. Weak handler, you know, like maybe seven, eight month old dog. So, and I'm, you know, I'm not like I'm watching it intently. It's kind of on, I'm watching nine other things. But then the next scene that comes on, it's all wrapped up in this ace bandage. I said, oh my God, what, you know, did it have some kind of surgery? What happened? No, 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 no surgery. That was the training equipment. Yeah, I so help me God. So now I'm watching. If you said, what are they doing? It, it seemed to be an exercise. Pretend you're actually slow, the slowest human on the planet. Yeah, and, and weave through these little, a little pattern. If you said, is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. I want you guys to understand, certain things aren't going to work in theory, but they could work in actuality. And but it's the opposite, too. In their theory, this is going to work. It will just touch these certain areas, and the animal will work in concert with us. That's my words, not theirs. If you said, does it work? No. It's, it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Yeah, they're walking so slow trying to, you know, manipulate all these, these two different leashes and walk through this little curvy little, you know, just little, like little horse pattern thing that you would do. If you said, what would they be better off to put two cones and go, 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 not go three steps. Try to make a two-step turn, and then go three more steps. Try to make a two-step turning with an ace bandage. If you said, then what? It got worse. It, it, I so help me God, it actually got worse. And then they put a thunder shirt on it. If you said, over top of all this other stuff, I didn't even look. I was just listening at that point. I tuned out. I said, Jesus Christ, now a thunder shirt. There's nothing wrong with this dog. It's just like a seven, eight-month-old you know, jerky dog. They're all like that. <sighs> you know, but oh, touching these certain pressure points. <sighs> if you said their, their narrative certainly wasn't matching up with what was going on. They're not even close. They're not even close. She was going, oh, it's much better at the end if you said, no. It saw like some other dog over there moving around. Yeah, anything. It was, it was, just, it was just saying anything. Anything. You know, to just be more interesting than this monotonous pattern. Honestly, it's, if you said, what do I take away from that? It's like, how long do these people practice this before, the, I'm gonna see if I get it to lie down, before they see, we're not making any progress. <laughs> we're not making any progress. If you said, because in theory, what they're not, what they're doing isn't gonna work. So generally speaking, if something isn't going to work in theory, that's the way it goes. It isn't going to work because you always theorize and then you apply the theory. And if you said then that's when you figure out it doesn't actually work, yeah. Their theory of touch this, touch that, it, it really, it, it's creating apathy. <laughs> yeah, they're not seeing the bigger picture. They're not seeing the bigger picture. All right, let me see if I can just... This is what it meant. Look at him look at my hand. This is what it meant. I'm just looking very lay downish myself. <sighs> Without fail. And if you don't believe me, start recording the dog, your dog, because without fail, these things do a little exhale. That's yours, Mick. If you said he's too skinny. Skinny! It's like a bear, honestly. If you said, why are they so big? Mine are always big like that, but I feed, I feed them big. 
I feel them, baby. All right, Christine, that's yours. That's just Oh, Chester. Chester, Chester, you just did it perfect, Chester. Oh, you just did it perfect. Oh, that's the girl. All right. I said that one has a telltale and it fell. If you said how long after the tell, they, they can they can never tell and then something can happen. You know, if you said I just did anything. That was the tell. to reward, let me see which one's which, this is chili, yeah, that's chili, chills, <laughs> chills, and then this is, that's got to be yours, Carolina, this is yours, Meg, and this is, um, of course I'm trying to it is, it's still cold. <laughs> Who's ever it is says, no, we won't. <laughs> we want our deposit back. <laughs> I've been getting so many calls. I mean, I do feel bad, but we've got to make sure people are in it for the long haul. Not the Christmas surprise of the kid. I don't even let people do that. It's just not fair to the puppy. As we said, well, kids are going to scream and everything. It's, it's just, if you said they don't, all well, they're doing is modeling your behavior because they don't have anything else to do. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's why if you're touchy-feely, if you're a bunch of frenetic energy, your expectation needs to be a very frenetic dog. If you said, I never calmly sit with my hands on my lap around a dog, I continually reach and reach and reach. And even when someone tells me not to do that, I continue to do it because I want to sabotage them. <laughs> I gotta get, I, I left Dr. Malik a message. I said, do you offer Skype sessions? I said, I don't think watching Frasier is enough of a treatment plan. <laughs> if you said, do you expect to hear from him? Not really. <laughs> I expect to be blocked. <laughs> if you said what's on them, they got these little sticky burrs on them from playing out in the bushes. I'm gonna try to cut the grass. You little peanut. They're not ticks, I promise you. They're just these little. I don't like to pick them off though. They dry up and fall off. All right, watch. I hope you're there, Mike. Hi, Alicia. How's it going, girl? Anyway, you just you know, that's what you need, people. You, I think you have to help them understand. If what you bring to the table as a handler is a lot of frenetic energy and a lot of needing to have ritualistic greetings where you're trying to humanize the dog and make it like a person and pretty soon it's jumping all over you and your next question is how do we correct jumping it's 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 hopeless i've now decided i i've you know you've got a limited amount of time 
You cannot educate people from the ground up. I I've got to try to find people with a little more. You know, I've got some, I've got the breaking glasses. They ended up being a complete disaster. In theory, they were good. If you said, why didn't they work in actuality? The plastic was too brittle. But I actually think if I break this off, I break the arms off, I don't think it'll be, um, you said you seem good at breaking. <laughs> I'm better at breaking stuff than fixing it. <laughs> If I see something that I think could be modified for something else, I'll break it. <laughs> or when Angie Marie gave me that, uh, she gave me that sweatshirt for Christmas. And she emailed, or she messages me the next day. Oh my God, I have to swing by your house and pick up that sweatshirt. The um, sales girl left the, uh, the, the uh, security tag on it. I said, what? I said, you mean the shoplifting tag? I go, all right, hang on, hang on, let me go look. So I go look, it's still on there. He said, what did you do? I grabbed a pair of pliers and twisted it off. And sent Angie Marie a picture of it. Uh, like she was, uh, okay, I was going to go, okay, come by and get it. And for sure, drive it back to the store and get this sales girl. If she said, where's it? It was from Kohl's over there. So she's going to drive to my house, pick this thing up, drive all the way to Kohl's. Which really isn't that far, but I mean, you know, you're talking about 20 miles of whatever, driving around. By the time you drive there back, everything else, drive around the parking lot. And I said, I already broke it off. <laughs> I said, problem solved. All right, so what have you got? What have I got? Okay, look. I, I, if you said, why would these be, why would this be a good training aid? I, if, I mean, if you wanted them to see it, I think it would be... You know, it's fairly obvious. Oh my God. Oh. If the, it's easy to see in the convoluted background, if you were wanting the dog to understand to look where I look, if you said it doesn't seem to recognize it yet, it doesn't, it doesn't. If you said you'd have to condition them, I think you would. It is kind of like the noise thing. It's already conditioned for the noise. All right, watch. Just looking. No, that one's on. It's kind of like, it is like the cartoon, where it's like there's a light bulb and then, you know, you can see the little. So watch, I'm going to get her where she's not looking. So she's not looking, but she's going to hear the noise. All right, watch. You said she didn't hear it. I think that's important to understand. It's very easy, now she heard it. It's very easy for noise to be contaminated for dogs. If you said, what do you mean? Because where I live, there's that place over there that has the runway. It, it has one of these places where John Travolta used to live there, but they kicked him out because his airplane was too big. If you said they're all hootie tooty, not Angie Marie, but a lot of them are. Yeah, hootie tooty types, but there are a lot of these, they have these vintage planes. I guess, you know, you know I guess it's where a lot of these old airline pilots live. So they have these vintage planes and they fly over in formation and stuff. If you, if you can't hear anything. Once these things start coming, they, you're screwed. You're screwed. You're, they can't hear anything. And you said, what, until they go past? You can see a lot of the videos. I just go like that and stop until these things go by. So. It literally, you know, if you said to yourself, uh, what I said to myself right there was, it clearly didn't hear it. It's based on the fact that it didn't react. All right, watch. That one hurt it. <gasps> you little peanut. And if you said, what else do you, then you can get them at the ready to hear something. You know, if I did that banging pan, it's a very specific noise, though. If 
I said, how would you link the light? If I could get a little blinking watch. Yeah, well, there's probably a way to do it. If I could make the watch blink, and then you had, you had the noise, and the, um, you had the noise and the light together. But if you said, are they triggered by the noise or the, I think to dogs, noise and movement are the same thing in a way. You know what I mean? You saw the other day when they heard those bushes crackling when Reggie was in there. No? They thought it was a rabbit. They thought something was moving around. They heard something moving around and they just assumed it was, you know, they knew it was something like that. Cute. It really is. It was beyond cute. All right, so. <laughs> oh, that'll be cute in a video. So if you said add this, I, you know, I think that that's oops, that's the way you would do it. You would have combine things. Synergy. I mean, if you said, I don't use any synergy in dog training, I say, that's not, that's terrible. Do you eat fusion food? You know, if they put avocado and sushi, are you the type that freaks out? You know, then dog training's not for you. I had that one friend. I can't remember. Maybe it was Barbie. She didn't like avocado. If you said, what was the problem? Every uh, sushi has avocado in it at that place. All right, so let's see if now they can get more of a visual on it. Yeah, let's see. She did get more of a visual. Oh, you little peanut. Oh, he was just doing a dance trying to get it. Oh, it takes two of them, though. <laughs> he better write my hand. Oh, I acted fast. If you said if that was, you know, if that was being judged, they would say, it seemed like the dog was getting ready to lay down and chew on it. <laughs> if you said, what would I say? I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. That's why I acted quickly. You know. There's no corrections. You're making it go the way you can as best as humanly possible. That's all you can do. You know, I, if you don't, I, if you said, how do I view them? Just, you're just completely outgunned. If they decide they want to take off. <laughs> They're gone. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Put it right in my hand. You little peanuts. Should I just do puppy school all day? All day Christmas episode, because people are home that don't normally watch. If you said, what's my thing gonna be? To everybody that supported me this year, thank you. And God for sure my video, I need to take God for it right now. God for sure my Yoshi video. And if you said, God for is the most anti e collar trainer on the planet. So that means everything in the world to me. Yeah. Yes, I'll never forget that, ever. One time he unfriended me. Or no, 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 he didn't unfriend me. Uh, he, uh, oh, hi, Michael. He. Let me do all these invites. Um, he left the group, because I have this group. And he left the group because he didn't like the word e -collar. If he said, what did I say? I said, good day, sir. I, I said, D no, this is what I said. I said, Godfrey, does it occur to you that I need your support? I'm out here against a bunch of damn hyenas. Does that occur to you? Good day, sir. That is fine. <laughs> it's such a so ridiculous thing. 
But at least I ended it with that. That's my advice. When you're just going to break up with your friends, just end it with a very good day. Sir. If you said, well, it leaves the door open for, you know, you to return at some point. All right, hang on. I'll get some more treats. So then the doctor came back and said, um, I'm sorry about our fight, but I didn't really even remember what the fight was. Oh, hey, girl. Hey. I hope you saw it. I got them all laying down. You remember, that's when you first met me, though. I was doing the default down. I think I used to put my hand on my lap. They seem to be seeing it, though. All right, hang on. I'm just going to get some more treats, and I can just work with, like, one of them. Just found another light. Yeah, I could probably get better lighting. Merry Christmas, Michael, and thank you for all your support. I, I realize, you know, these people don't have time to hit a thumbs up on a video, but you do, and that means the world to me. Anyway, it's just like a little campsite out here. So, I, you know, I think you're just always saying to yourself, okay, they learn by sound. That can be a good thing or a bad thing. You know, if you say, well, that's how dogs learn when people pick up their car keys. Mm, sorry, I know that's what it is. <laughs> it becomes the obvious precursor. So, let me see, where's my other keys? Oh, they're lost. They're very attracted to this. So. Anyway, so Dr. Castro let me message. I'm going to see what it is. Hopefully it's not some crisis with Molly getting into the cat box. If you guys remember, though, I started these with this little ponytail band thing or something. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It was this thing, this thing. I only really had one of them, but I kind of did the ponytail band, too. But that's where it all started. You know, it's like Christmas Eve here, Sharon. I said... Maybe we're like a day and a half behind you. I think that's what it is. Okay, so if you said, what can I do? If I just want to train one of them. I can usually just get one of them to wake. They'll wake them up out of a sleep. And there are, I think you have to think of there's certain tones that dogs would hear better. You know, when I was a kid, there was always that silent dog whistle. Oh, I always wanted to get that. I always believed somehow. I, I mean, I, I was skeptical. But I always believe somehow it must work. Why would they even have such a thing? <laughs> if you said, does it? No, it doesn't. It ends up being, I suppose, if you said, what spectrum would dogs hear easiest? Bass. When my husband raises his voice. You know, okay. God, it's, you know this, this is their mindset. But 
the really high pitch that this silent whistle thing is emitting. It's not effective at all that I could ever see. And then you're just, just like, turn this whistle. They still sell them. They still sell them. You were supposed to turn it like to find just like the right exact tone. And then the dog just magically obeyed. Yeah, magically obeyed. All right, so if you said, how can you just get one? You precious little peanut. He got out of bed and came over there. If you said, what did it hear? And I think you would have to say to yourself, again, it is the cadence. That's when a lot of these, hold it down, hold it down, hold that pager down. You've got to give them time. If you said to me, when I hit that pager, I want you to do something. If I didn't do it right away, I'd say, listen, <laughs> there was planes flying overhead. I was busy doing something. Chill. <laughs> you know, if you need me, you know, or somebody said, I was trying to get a hold of you. You hung up after one ring. You hung up after one ring. You know, what did you want from me? Anyway, I'm gonna just let him go to sleep, but I'll come back later and do the, uh, the deliver, but it's, you know, that's what you're saying. They're learning by feel, they're learning by sound. You know, if what we're providing is, you know, and I remember that when you first met me, Sharon, remember you said, Oh, she comes over and wants all these fusses. Now you realize how the dog was jerking you around, just like it had done everybody before. That's how dogs like that end up in rescue, Sharon. They provide a friendly, it's what I call playing the affable card. They act friendly. People respond. Oh, as soon as we go over by them. That Shepherd Elliot does it. That's terrible. If you said, what happens if you pet him one time, you're screwed. You, he'll work you like nobody's business. Anytime he feels like it, he'll just come over there and flip your arm up. And, you know, if you said, what if you have like a sandwich or something? A ham sandwich? He's going to take that away from you. <laughs> if he said, no, he isn't. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you know, if, if you've played that with him, you know. I'm your friend. Well, give me then. If you're my friend, then give me the stuff. <laughs> That's how they do. Anyway, all right, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna go outside and do Yoshi real quick. I'm just still, you know, that Godfrey shared my uh, Yoshi video. It means a lot to me, it really does. For someone that's that anti-e-collar. I'm just, I, you know, I should do a dramatic reading of this fight that we got in. <laughs> it was like three lines. <laughs> Cause when he said, you know, if you're there, Godfrey, it did, it meant a lot to me too, because you said, you know, I've been thinking about this fight we had. If you said, what did I say? I said, what was the fight? I didn't, really, I didn't think it was like really a fight, you know, but. It's how I am. I mean, I, you've got, and I, I'm understanding that more every day. You have to, if you're surrounding yourself with people that don't believe in you, and you're chronically just trying to prove to these people, trying to get them to, You've got to get rid of these people to make room. If you said, who is this, some psychic on YouTube? She's not a psychic. She's a psychologist. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, my God, he's unbelievable. If you said, add a second noise. The noise is just, the noise made him operate out of reflex, though. But he said, no, I'm too tired. <laughs> You see that, though, I explain it to people, it's like the firemen, you know, they jump up. The training kicks in when that, when they hear this bell. I had this one guy rolling. I said, you know, I didn't know this guy was a fireman. So I was, you know, saying, I said, do you really think at the firehouse when this bell rings, these guys get up and say, it might be a small grease fire. Yeah, let's wait and see if they can get it out on their own with some baking soda. Tell them to grab some baking soda. <laughs> this guy was thinking it was hysterical. I said, you know, if, you, if you're trained, you're going to go, but there's going to be a cue to go. And if you said there's a reason they use bells, there is. 
If we said, who can we ask? If I had to guess Alexander Graham Bell, <laughs> the guy that invented the telephone. <laughs> There's original telephones, rang with the bell. <laughs> that was his name, rang with the bell. No coincidence. All right, guys, I'm gonna go outside and do Yoshi real quick. So anyway, uh, my chameleon, the remote went dead. If you said, so I, I, I messaged Mike, I said, uh, um, you know, small problem. It's dead. He goes, did you charge it? <laughs> I said, I didn't see a charging port. I <laughs> looked. If he said, so you just assumed it stayed charged? I didn't know. I thought maybe it had a battery. I didn't know. I didn't know what was wrong. <laughs> I didn't know what the problem was. Anyway. No, oh, I'm Michelle. Anyway, that's probably, look at the size of these beasts, though. I mean, they are beasts. It's Chester. That was the little one. What a bitch. It's, it's either Chili or Meg. Those two are very similar, except for Chili's a little bit bigger. And then that's... You know, if pe people start saying that one guy, oh, man, I need a picture of this one, picture of this one, picture of this one, so they can all juxtapose them. Just... Okay, first off, I can barely tell them apart, but, you know, now you got me jumping through hoops and... You know, I, at that point, I just say, well, which one don't you like? And I'll make sure and let, that you don't get that one. <laughs> if he says it's real sarcastic. Yeah, oh, oh sarcastic. Laden with sarcasm. It just becomes ridiculous. And I'm not like that. When I bought Yoshi, they had one puppy. I didn't sit there and say, where's the rest of the litter? Was he the smallest? Da, 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 da. He was pet quality. If you, well, I didn't even ask any information. I, I'm not planning on breeding anything like that. And if you said, what did they say? They said it's pet quality has a white mark on its chest. If you said, do you, um, white mark? It's got like three white hairs. If they think that's that awful. <laughs> if you said you went on and on, and I didn't anything. I was just, you know, I didn't want them to shut me down and not sell me a dog. It's like, get rid of, get out of here. If you said, that's been my experience with these breeders. <laughs> You know, you don't act right. They're just going to hang up on you. <laughs> she said, I don't believe you. Try it. <laughs> Try it. Sir. You know, and there's no point. I can work with whatever puppy I get. You know, and it was obviously a cute puppy. So if you said, yes, it's, it's doing unbelievable. Godfrey shared his video. That right there ought to tell you something. Anyway, guys, we'll be right back.